All right, so I decided to update my 508. I have different Altel scanners and I bought the new Icon. You guys know that who watch my channel. And after being a little disappointed and underwhelmed with the Icon and seeing some shortcomings and things I don't like, stuff that I'm used to, I went ahead and decided to update my Altel and the main push behind it was one, I found out that they have discontinued this IM508 and they have a 508S and then they, uh, they updated the 608s as well. So I have a 508 and they have discontinued that product. So different places sell the updates for that for cheaper now it's normally 350 you can go on jb tools and get it for like 275 so like this scanner was like the way i got mine when i bought it this scanner was two thousand dollars or so so and probably more because i bought like key simulators and I got, I also bought the XP 400. It comes with the, this one, but I bought this kit that has all the, uh, the, the EPROMs and stuff like that. And then I have also some things that are not in here. Um, uh, but I have like a, a simulated key. There's, oh, that's for like the, uh, Mercedes and some of the Dodges have that. But anyway, I bought like all the accessories when I bought my 508. I just went and got everything that was available to come with it. You know, G-boxes, all that stuff. I bought all that stuff. So it is far more worth it for me to update this tool than my MP, uh, what is that? My Maxi Pro 808 TS. Um, which they have new versions of that now too. And a big reason for this guys is that, I don't know whether you know it or not, people don't tell you when you buy them. I didn't find out until after I bought my M my Maxi Pro. Like that's not a USA region scanner. They sell different scanners that you might wonder why certain people don't sell certain ones. Well, the scanners for Europe, and Africa and Asia, those scanners are like locked into a region and some things don't work with with those, like the support. You can't get support for those over here like, like you uh, can with the USA made scanners because once they find out that you're trying to use an outer region scanner, they're gonna be like, uh, oh, that scanner is not for your region, get a scanner for your region. Now I know the IM508 is for this region. That's why, uh, perfect example, um, like the auto off that I've been talking about. It only allows you to add USA region scan tools to that software. So if you have uh, an Altel scanner that is a uh, like an African one, it's it's not gonna work with auto off. They're not gonna they're not gonna um it's, you're not gonna be able to get to the secure gate with with those. So if you're running into that, and the log on screen is popping up uh, when you try to do Chrysler's, Jeep, Dodges, Fiat, and whatever the FCA vehicles, that pop up screen is for auto off. You have to set up an account with auto off. It's fifty dollars a year, and you have to put the serial number of your tool on that. And then that's what it's connecting to. Um, that's what it's connecting to when, when that screen pops up, when you're trying to work with those vehicles with the gateway, uh, I saw a weird message come up. So, uh, so yeah, I went ahead and updated this tool. Like I said, right now you can get the updates for the 508s for less than $300. Um, this thing does just about everything that my uh, 
my MP808 does, except it does not do the, the tire monitoring stuff. So, and, and I'm not worried about that, you know, tire pressure monitoring. They sell so many small little tiny scanners, little cheap ones that can do that. I'm not worried about that. So, none. I don't, I don't want any locking. I just want this thing to come on and work. So I'm going through the process right now. I've updated my subscription. You can see that I have That subscription is good until this time next year. So I'm like, okay, are they, they've discontinued the tool. They're discounting the updates at different retailers. Alltel still charges full price if you do it through their software. They still charge full price. I'm wondering when they're gonna stop updating this tool. That's another reason why I like, I'm probably gonna keep this one updated now just because I'm scared that at one, some point they're gonna just stop giving an update and I wanna make sure that I have the latest updates when they decide to do that. But added benefit for me, this is a USA region scanner, got it on auto off. I can get through the gateways without having to tear the dash part, get to the secure gateway and bypass it, which is gonna be a pain doing that with my new Icon T8 scanner until the scanner kind of really gets all the way out there and test it and more people like me start complaining that, hey, this sucks and they start fixing stuff like that. So, um, I, got, I got a lot of updates to do. So, uh, update app. The only the other good thing about when you update your, when you put your subscription back on your all tail scanners, it puts them back in warranty so you can get like, so if it, if it crashes and stuff, they'll help you. But if it crashes and you're out of updates, then you're also out of luck. So there's that. But yeah, um, I need to find my uh, simulators, my key simulators and stuff because uh, like, find out where that stuff's at so like i also bought these you know like i said i, bu I bought a lot of stuff with the scanner um, i wanted to make sure that i could do whatever keys that i had to do all right still going through the update process i'm, I'm not gonna um let you guys suffer through this um But I'm just kind of let, so, so you can see it change now. The, the GUI, uh, the graphical user interface is different. You can see 349 for that update. I don't know how much updates cost for the 508S. I don't know if the same updates work. Um, get the system update. And then I'll get my library commons and my immobilizer system. And then I'll go through and update everything else on this tool. And uh, it has a wire. That's the only, you know, the VC, there, there, there is no VCI. This is like, you gotta use cable. So there's no uh, wireless VCI on this. So that's the only, you know, you gotta have it tethered to the vehicle. So that's that's the drawback of this, but based on, you know, I can still do my bi bi-directional controls, look at my live data, and I got my key programming with an update that's half the price of the 808TS. It was no brainer for me to go ahead and update this one because this can do more um, for me being that I do have the uh, the icon now and it's it's in subscription. I 
but I do like the way um, the stuff works, some bugs and stuff that it doesn't have that the Icon does have for now until they like update it. So hopefully Harbor Freight will, you know, get these in the hands of more people. I bought mine, they didn't give it to me. I know they give them to some people and then they kind of like give it a really nice review and don't really like put out there what's what's wrong with the thing but uh i tell you what's really up because i buy all my tools and that's not a shout out shot at people who get tools because i would be happy if i was a person that got given tools but i couldn't like not tell them what's really up with the stuff when I did the reviews. If if that was part of the deal, then I, I don't wanna get the <laughs> I don't wanna get the free tools, I'll just buy it and say what I want. So I catch you guys later. RV Tech Pro out.